Hi everybody, it's Melissa with the SPED Homeschool Review Crew. Um, today I have something that I'm really excited to open. This is the Early Learning Foundations uh, from Little Giant Steps. I don't think that this is going to be a typical curriculum, but for um, our homeschool students who have uh, uh, differing abilities, um, this is going to be a great supplement. I have been reading about uh, Jan's neurodevelopmental approach and so many things just click. So I am excited to get my hands on this and show you what's inside and tell you more about it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Um, this was in our mail locker recently. It's a little bit bigger <laughs> package than um, some of the other ones. It's kind of sticky. Um, but this is Early Learning Foundations, just um, kind of the, the very first one. I think that there are three available. And this is it. So um, Early Learning Foundations Level 1. All right. So I like that it comes kind of with a packing slip so I can tell you everything that's in it right away. We have um, the student book, the teacher book, number of the day flashcards, um, number word flashcards, shape flashcards, blinking cubes, um, digit deck, memory cards, um, one to 100 flashcards, and a counting CD. So there's gonna be a lot of math in this. And um, then there's also um, another online component. Um, a lot of our um, special ed curriculum resources always have an online component. I love that because it can be easily updated. And we know that things are always changing. Um, so being able to um, adapt, access things online, get updates online is perfect. Um, so here are some of the flashcards. These are we have number of the day. These look like some of the other number cards. We have some word flashcards and the corresponding um, number. I see plastic totes in my future, so I don't lose these. Um, linking cubes. Um, I kind of need to hide these because my son has other ideas with what he wants to do when he sees linking cubes. And then when I try to change his mind on what we're supposed to do with these, um, he is not happy. So I'm going to put these aside um, until we're ready to introduce them. Okay, visual object sequence cards. Sequencing is so important. Um, and, you know, the way my brain operates, I think um, I can sequence days of the week, um, sequence a story, sequence numbers. Um, but my struggling learner, really, that it, those are entirely different challenges. Um, sequencing numbers, sequencing events, before and after, cause and effect. Um, those are some big concepts um, that we ha really have to break down. So um, I can't wait to learn more about how we're going to use those. We have some other flashcards. I like how these are black and white. Um, minimal distractions. We can really focus on um, what we're supposed to be doing with these tools. Um, sometimes if there's a picture and the picture is big versus small, um, it's hard to discriminate. Is it an elephant that we're talking about that's big? Is it elephant or is it big? Um, so there's no distractions with these. Um, they're thick and durable. Um, these are shapes behind here. Um, and uh, we've probably got maybe 10 of those in there. Spiral bound um, teacher's guide right here for early learning foundations level one. I'll take a look inside. Okay, so there's some checklists there to keep me on track. 
that's gonna be helpful. Um, so there looks like I'm probably gonna um, need to spend maybe an hour or two um, reading the, the teacher's guide to get familiar with the, the plan. And um, then it looks like there's just a daily checklist um, that we'll need to work through. And um, they have that for you know several weeks, several days. And here is, this will be the student guide, it looks like. It's a lot thicker. Um, you see some bright colors on the front. Yellow, yellow is one of our favorite colors. Okay, and on the inside of the textbook, the pages are actually in yellow. Um, this is also good because I think sometimes white and black is a really hard contrast for some of our kids. So using some of those pastel colors, um, yellow, I wonder if the other books are kind of like in a mint green or a light blue, um, can really help on the eyes. Um, yeah, white and black can be really uh, bold for some kids. And this looks like it has, um, let's see, has about 260 pages. So, so this is gonna take a while to work through, um, but it uh, looks like a lot of um, what we talked about, a lot of math concepts and a lot of sequencing concepts um, and just the opportunity to practice those skills um, daily. So let me show you again what we got. We got our teacher's notebook and our student text. And then we got um, different types of flashcards, shapes, numbers, number of the day, numbers, number words, um, our visual sequencing cards, and um, linking cubes. This looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun to go through. Um, I'm gonna go uh, look at the teacher's uh, guidebook a little bit more and uh, let you know just how how we actually execute it, how much time it's gonna take of our day, and just how my student responds um, to these neurodevelopmental approaches. Um, we look forward to sharing more about it here soon.